everybody and welcome back. Uh, if you're new here, my name is Katie. I think I say that every time for those who have been here before. Thanks for coming back. Today is my first voiceover in a thrift store. I'm incredibly nervous and I don't know if you can hear it in my voice. But right now we are going through and oh, I found a Betty Boop hat um, that had some good comps on eBay. So I'm going to put that in the cart. I'll show that here. And also found a Vineyard Vines hat. So that also, I'll throw those comps up on the screen. Um, now here is the small selection of baggies um, or bagged toys and bagged miscellaneous items in my store. This is a value world in my area, um, but not a lot of thrift stores in my area or any for that matter, besides this one that I found, um, do the bagged lots of toys. Now, I tend to do really good in these lots of toys, mostly find things like Beanie Babies. Just kidding. Don't buy Beanie Babies if you can help it. Um, actually look for things like Webkins, and I'll probably show you that in a second, but I usually look for Webkins, um, Wild Republic, Disney. Oh, yep, there it is, Wild Republic, right on that uh, little, I think there's a little lion butt, and then here's a Webkins. And usually the Webkins won't have codes, but that doesn't matter. Most people just buy them for the actual plush. There's another Webkins, and I think that was a Six Flags or Disney tag. I couldn't quite see it, and I don't remember. But typically with these bag lots, I will take them apart when I get home, uh, lot up the things that I think are worth it, because usually the Webkins, they're usually about $10 to $15 a piece. I have sold a lot, I think as high as 80. It had four in there. There's another Webkins. And that little angry bird, that became a dog toy. <laughs> in full disclosure, that was a dog toy. Hey, there's my mom. Hi, mom. Um, but anyway, I look for things like webkins. Well, we already said that. So what I tend to do is take them all out. I will look up the comps real quick on individual ones. If there's a good webkins or um, Wild Republic, things like that. Anything worth above $10. Oh, those are the Madagascar toys. And uh, somehow a giant big bird is also in my cart. Um, that's also a Build-A-Bear but I don't have a recording of me uh, putting that in the cart. Hey, that's me. Hi. <laughs> so um, this is the toy area in my thrift store. It's a mess. Oh, it's a mess. The only time I've seen this place clean is a 50% off day on toys, and then it gets cleaned out. Like, looks like there's nothing in this room. But today, it's only 50% off clothes. And so this room is a mess. But back to what I was saying about toys in the bag toy specifically. Look up the comps on individual plush. If it's anything above 10, then I will sell it usually individually. There's some, you know, things that don't make it into that, but for the most part, and then anything below that, if it's in the five to seven dollar range, I'll lot it up with a couple other ones. And that's how I do toys. Well, at least bag toys. If you get any beanie babies, you can always um, either donate them, redonate them. <laughs> I think I just hit the camera with that. I did. And uh, if not, you could also lot them up as a junk drawer lot and things like that. But for the most part, some Beanie Babies will sell right around, you know, five to seven dollars. This was actually a pretty cool plush. You'll see it in just a second, I believe. Yep, there it is. It's a Boston clam plush. Um, I forget how much this one was going for. I looked up comps. I'll throw it up on the screen. I believe it was right around $30. <laughs> and uh, that was also a cute little monster. But yeah, so I should be throwing comps up on the screen. I trust myself to remember this. This is also a Build-A-Bear. And in the cart he goes, this is typically how my cart looks when there's a lot of stuffed animals. Um, I'm sure you've seen all my mystery boxes, but this is where I get to have fun. I get to dig through all the stuffed animals and find what's cool. Now, once I'm done looking through all the racks of toys, I found myself an igloo cooler. And I think that was going right around $16. I love finding those things. They're easy to clean, pop them right in a box and ship them. They ship so easy and they're light too, which is really nice. And I love finding the ones that are either oddball colors or that still have their like sticker decals and nothing's like rubbed off on it and it's got all its like newness while still being used <laughs> and we are about to head out so thanks for coming for my first uh thrift store voiceover and i'll see you next time bye